What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we're gonna go over all the upcoming season one reloaded operator bundles, everything to expect from them, what they will look like in game. We even also have the upcoming dates for the boys operator skin. So we'll discuss all that in today's video. If you find it helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, Messy Store Services. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more. And the reason why I promote them is they do everything 100% legit without using mods or unlock tools and not to mention they have some of the best reviews so check them out the link will be down in the description first off the homelander operator bundle is going to be releasing apparently on january 21st which is just going to be two days from now this is just a quick reminder of what the bundle will contain these will have modern warfare 2 weapons because it originally came out in mw2 and then a couple days after that on january 25th we have the black noir bundle this is another showcase of what this operator bundle will contain not necessarily new they're just coming back because they were available for a limited time the last time we saw the boys event and then here's where we jump into the new bundles starting on january 29th we have the firecracker operator bundle these dates have been leaked so they're not official call of duty is subject to change or swap around the dates as they see fit but here's everything that this bundle contains you have the firecracker operator skin this is what she will look like in game a huge shout out to austin six for letting me use his footage i'll have him linked down in the description be sure to check out his youtube channel he covers unreleased camo skins and operator Operators. Anyways, along with this brand new operator, there's two different weapon blueprints. It's called the Smoking Gun. This one is for the MTZ 556 AR. It does have tracer rounds and effects to it, and this is what they will look like. I believe they're called the Firecracker Tracers. And then the second weapon is going to be for the Pull Me Out 762 called the Fellow Patriot. Once again, follows that same exact theme, has the same exact tracer effects. And then she also has a brand new finishing move. I saw it over on TikTok, but here's what this brand new finishing move will look like. And then finally, you have the rest of the bundle, which will contain things like a brand new weapon sticker, a new emblem, a brand new calling card, and as well as a weapon charm. And because she is a brand new operator, she will have her own unique voice lines and she will be on Team Cortex. Last Boy's operator skin is gonna be A-Train with an apparent release date of February 2nd. This is what the A-Train operator will look like in game. He is gonna be on Team Spec Guru. He will have his own unique voice lines as well as there's gonna be two different weapon blueprints. The first one that we have is for the the MCW, this one is called Turbo Charge. This will have tracer rounds and effects, and this is what it will look like. Called the A Train Tracers. The second weapon blueprint is called the Fast AF for the WSP Swarm fits the same exact theme of that color blue and then he also has a brand new finishing move this is the finishing move that i was able to find as well from tiktok it has different variants of it like every other finishing move depending on if they're standing or if they're prone the rest of the bundle will have a loading screen a weapon sticker an emblem which will be animated and then you got a calling card and finally a weapon charm the next operator bundle that we have is called the wildlife wanted this will be the rubber duck pack i don't think this will have any tracer rounds or effects to it, it doesn't call it a tracer pack but here's what the operator skin will look like in game it's pretty much a rubber duck it's for corso it's called bath time and because it is for corso this will be on team cortex two different weapon blueprints to fit the theme the first one is called the rubber rampage for the pull me out 762 the second weapon is for the dm56 marksman rifle called the ducky the rest of the bundle will have a weapon sticker a calling card an emblem and finally a weapon charm price of this bundle will more than likely be 2000 cod points because it doesn't have tracer rounds or effects all the boys operator bundles that I mentioned earlier are going to be 2400 COD points, so I do apologize for not mentioning that. The next bundle that we have is called the Cryptids, the Heart of Ice Ultra Skin Bundle. Unfortunately, although it's an Ultra Skin pack, it will not have tracer rounds, so it's probably still going to be around 2400 COD points. This features the Deerbot Operator Skin for Raptor, which will be on Team Core Attack. You also have two different weapon blueprints included. The first one is called the Dark Spirit, which will be for the Bass B. The second weapon blueprint is called the Forest Stalker. That will be for the Holger 26. The rest of the bundle will contain four items. You have a large decal, a loading screen, a weapon charm, and finally a double XP token. And this was the operator that they teased multiple different times in all those blog posts that they had. So now it is finally tied to an operator bundle. But following that, we do have a tracer pack now. And this is going to be called the Scarab Tracer Pack. And this will feature that beetle theme operator skin that we also talked about before. This is called the Insectoid for Enigma, which will be also on Team Core Attack. And this is what the operator skin will look like. This bundle is more than likely going to cost you 2,400 COD points. 
other than the skin itself, there will also be two different weapon blueprints. The first one is called the Battle Beetle for the DM56, which will have tracer rounds called the Toxic Insecticide Tracers. As you see from the clip, it has like a green goo that comes out of the operators when you eliminate them. But the second weapon blueprint is called the Bug Hunt for the MTZ556, which also looks like it has a shotgun attachment underside. And then the rest of the bundle will contain a new loading screen, a weapon sticker, an animated emblem, and an animated calling card. The next bundle that we have is called Tech Lux, and this will be a pro pack. Because of that, this means that this will cost you USD real money, and that will be $19.99 USD. And the main reason they cost you real money is because they do include COD points, which is 2,400 COD points, which is a value of $20 all by itself. And then on top of that, you also have a new operator skin called the Tactical Streets, which will be for Jet. That will be on Team Spec Gru, and this is what it will look like in game. And then you also have two different weapon blueprints. The first one is going to be called the Techno Fire for the WSP9 SMG. None of these have tracer rounds or effects to them. And then the second weapon blueprint is going to be called the Dead Hand, and that is for the Bass B. The rest of the bundle will contain things like a weapon sticker, one called the 3x3. You also got a brand new emblem called the Fiendish Fashion, a new loading screen called the Urban Tech, and finally a brand new weapon charm called the Shadow Fighter. The next operator bundle that we have is called the Sketch Out Tracer pack which is probably the craziest operator bundle that we have within this update because it is a tracer pack and it looks as crazy as this it's easily going to cost you 2400 cod points probably even 28 if they go up that high the bundle will contain this new pop orator outfit this will be for swagger so it will be in team core tag and what you're seeing is actually what it will look like in game so it has like that cartoonish effect that fortnite looking effect that they got going on with that. And then there's gonna be two different weapon blueprints that are also gonna fit that same theme. The first one is called the Blam Blam, which will be for the MCW. It has those comic book tracers that we saw originally in the MW3 reveal trailer. The first one says gotcha when it eliminates the player. And then the second one is called the Comic Carbine for the Striker 9. And it also has the same exact tracers, but the death effect will be a little bit different. It'll say Kablam rather than gotcha. And then following that, there's the rest of the bundle, which will have things like a brand new loading screen is it's called is there fall damage then you got a cleaver weapon sticker you also got a pop it emblem and then you have a calling card and finally or the calling card is going to be animated and then finally you have a weapon charm and this pretty much wraps up every single brand new operator bundle that's going to be coming in with this update the rest of the bundles that we have i will show you guys photos of them these are all different weapon blueprint bundles so no operators will be involved some of them have tracers some of them don't these are usually going to be mixed in and spread out every couple days you'll start seeing some of these bundles come into the store probably even even at the same time that some of these operator bundles will come in. I did showcase these photos, I believe, in the last video, but I'm just going to go ahead and showcase them again for those of you guys who might be interested in these types of bundles. Some of them do have new weapons, which will include the HRM9, probably already in the store right now. One of them does include the new TAC Evolver, which should be in the store as well. And then there's others that will be coming in. I believe there's like an anime looking one. There's also other ones with tracer rounds and effects to it. There's like a black hole type of theme going on with another one. So there are a lot of bundles, unfortunately this time around they didn't drop that many operator skins mainly for the reason that they're bringing back three of them which are going to take away three different operator slots for those dates homelander black noir and starlight so more than likely we are going to be getting a lot more bundles that are going to be added with the season two update and you got to remember season one reloaded is only 20 something days usually they add a bundle every two to three days so it really wouldn't be that many bundles for them to add in the first place and it just wouldn't fit it and then there's also the augmented human which is still yet to release for some odd reason it released over and warzone mobile which is directly tied to modern warfare 3 and warzone 2 so i'm wondering why they haven't dropped that in the store yet maybe there's a reason for why they're delaying it maybe it could be a warzone exclusive as of right now none of that has been mentioned so i will keep you guys up to date on that if it does end up coming into the store but that may be another bundle that will release so that will raise up the amount of bundles that we have here but anyways that is all that i have for you guys for today's video if you found it informative or helpful consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates